Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. So over here I can generate a random string and show them over here and as well as what I want right now, I want to be click on these buttons and remove them. But right now we can't do that. Well, over here I have a list of items and now this list is actually stateful because I'm using a state management package to do that. So now our job is to remove this, click on this and remove this and how spread operator plays roles over here. Now definitely if we are going to remove this, any of them, then I have to grab the index for this certain list item, right? So let's write a function over here. So here we'll write a function and we'll say it remove an item. Now over here we want to get an index. Wherever we click then we'll pass an index to it and uh, from that index we'll remove based on that index we'll remove an item from this state object now this state object contains the whole list and how to do that so first over here i would get this state object and then i would do like this remove at since state is a list so i can invoke the remove at function and pass the list to it and after that actually we are going to use a spread operator and how to do that so over here first i'll have state and then i'll have this uh, braces since we are dealing with the list we need this and after that we'll have this uh, three dots and then we'll just simply do state and that's it now of course without this line this is not going to work why not because over here we remove an item from this list so that's a new list. So we assign this list and replace the old one. So that's how it works over here. Now this is the method that we want to call from our UI. So this is our UI. So over here inside this gesture detector. Now this gesture detector actually is this item over here like this remove icon as you can see this one. So we click on this and it should be removed how to write the code now first over here I have to get this list the list the whole list and how do we get this so here I'd get it like random list now of course this list is coming from at the top over here since I'm using a state management so I get the whole list and save it over here but that's not the point of this class so I'm just go I'll just go ahead and then here I would do index off so I have to get the index from this list index off of certain element so what is our element over here this string is the element so I'll get this one so you have to have the element and then after this that's all so with this it would return an index for this element and we want to save it okay so here we could do int index we want to save it to a variable and over here we are going to call the method that we have created we have created remove an item method and all we need to do we need to pass it and over here actually i'm using a river pod so i get my notifier to get notified and uh, actually call the object so what is our object over here remove item now anyway so let's go ahead and restart our app and then we, we're gonna generate we're gonna generate like this and then let's click any of them you see that disappears you can click anywhere that disappears and you can of course generate like this so you have to if you want to remove an item first you have to remove the item from your state list and then you have to update it using spread operator and then assign it to the state variable and that's how it works thank you